Okay, VB's oh going God. Terry. Helper just subscribed for the 6.5 years. He's <laughs> trying to. Okay, he's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help, okay, but Helper, do match Reno. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I let's get Helper. right into this. I'm actually... Oh my, I, I've never seen Vivi go Terry, actually. I've never seen his Terry, and, I, and I've and i just seen Steven play uh, Sora earlier. I mean, I genuinely don't even know what to project about this. It, it's the sort of thing where... I mean, Vivi's a fantastic player. I absolutely course, respect yeah. that if he is playing Terry, it's because he has a Terry. Um, I, this probably is just a bit more experimentation as opposed to, you know, character matchup specific. Mm -hmm. um, although it might be that, you know, he's having a hard time with Sora generally, so he's been trying out the Terry. We will, it remains to be seen how he actually fares in the matchup from one. Agreed, but right, right now both pairs kind of chilling out of around even percentage. Oh, okay, that force match from Sora. Dundaga, oh! He's dead. Yeah, there goes Terry. <sighs> All right, yeah. Has to be careful that recovery of his, or lack thereof. Yeah, and Sora, just based on that, the way that his magic interacts with Terry's recovery, that felt like it was really hard for mm -hmm. Vivi to actually get back to the stage. Something that he has to be mindful of, that, you know, a single mistake getting hit by a forward smash that early, even though it didn't kill, put him off stage deep enough that he then was forced to recover in a way that he just couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I think that, oh, that's a problem a lot of our, our fighting game, fighting game characters, like Kazuya and, and Terry and our, our, and our um, you know, Ken and uh, Ryu, that they have to stay on the ground. That's where they're, they're most comfortable. And I think that's where Terry is, uh, Terry, that's where Vivi is right now. Making sure he's staying on the platform, making, gaining center control, and getting that last that stock from Steven. <laughs> that was such a good, it was the empty jump mm -hmm. up smash. You were talking about being grounded, but you know, juke him out by going in the air for yep. a second. Just not off the ledge, be careful. <laughs> Because that's where Sora can really play. Because Sora, oh, yeah. like these oh, characters, has this amazing vertical range and has amazing recovery, has amazing options off the ledge. Off the ledge, that he, it's just so dangerous for a lot of our fighting game uh, characters to deal with him. Oh, but it is in fact go time now. This is where the matchup becomes so much more interesting. One, like from the Terry's perspective. He has these incredibly devastating moves between the Power Guys and the Buster Wolf. Oh, is we gonna see it? Ah, but it just barely misses right I'm there. I'm so glad I missed it. I wasn't watching. <laughs> I really want to see Buster Wolf or Power Geyser. It's just an amazing move. No. Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, the thing about it, it's, it is not a one-use move, but that's so good. It feels like stocks in general, when you're up against Akazia, when you take them, it, it, it's just a wave of relief that you have. Taking that stock matters so much. Mm -hmm. Even if you lose yours right after. Uh, nonetheless, it's still... Oh, noops? Noops. <laughs> okay. Those narrow loops, come on. He did get us through those in the last one that I've watched Steven play. So hopefully he's trying to get a little bit of those uh, narrow loops going for him. Trying to get him to the combo. But no, getting that, those kickback combos. Let's go. Getting from that Thundaga gang. Come on. Are looking <laughs> really even right now between both of these players. Rolling into the uh, fire, fire, fire to get away from it, but getting hit by it, getting a little bit. Seventy percent on yeah. Vivi, fifty percent on Steven. Just really relying on the magic. It's mm -hmm. you know, Sora has good range, but those just having a projectile like that is even better considering how much he does not want to get in Vivi's face right now. And he's at 100, 137. It is in fact go time. If he manages to land one of those devastating Terry it, combos, it finishing. Might, it might be it for Sora as a light character. Game oh, and that last Dundaga getting him off the stage. 151% being careful with, with Sora's recovery can easily hit him from any angle. Oh, man. I think a Buster Wolf at this percent might very well kill. But, yeah. He's <laughs> the trying. intensity, how scary this is for both players. Steven Lilly staying away from him, making sure he's away from that. That's oh, no my, way. There's no way. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. If he got the spike hitbox, that absolutely would have been yep. it. Yep. Oh, just a little bit too early on, on that. And there there it, is. it is! Oh! Oh, that was insane. A little bit, very, very close for Vivi, though. Could have died at any point. I mean, there's actually a part where Vivi was in the air on the center of the stage, and I'm surprised that Steven actually went up but didn't do an up air or a, or a fair or near, didn't do any of the above. Just kind of let him come back on the stage. But that would have been it had he done that uh, that up air. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so tricky because you're... Mm -hmm. You're just so, especially Power Geyser. Power Geyser. The fact that Power Geyser just has this massive hitbox, that if you're a sword character like Sora, that's kind of a zone you like to be in, you know? Like, I'm diagonally up and away from you. I can hit you with all sorts of, no. 
Like no. No. Here's don't. Power Geyser. It will touch you by like the like the the edge of the fire. Like don't don't mess with Terry. <laughs> when he has that pa that go going for him. Man, I always hear magic tattoo when he does that. I can't I can't get it out of my head. Like magic yeah. tattoo. All uh, right, TVV getting a higher percentage this time, getting Steven at 71%, himself only at 26%, looking great for him right now, 84%. Can he possibly just take out the stock right now? Missing that back air. Missing that freeze, getting that back air again. These ledge traps are now mm -hmm. coming to fruition. This is something we did not see from Vivi in the first game. And just like, oh! Oh, just barely missing that kickback. But is this going to be it for... Yep, That's it will. definitely going to yep. be it. Yeah, Vivi. I wasn't even paying attention, looking at the percentage. I was like, ah, it's going to be it. It has to be. And this is one of those things where because Kazuya... Oh, sorry, not, not Kazuya. <laughs> well, Kazuya also has a comeback. But no, wait. He's fine. He's Sora. Oh, yeah. Um, Never got to worry about him. So he has this comeback mechanic, which means that if you do end up a stock down, it's even scarier because you're like, I am going to have to make a comeback against him. Basically, most likely against like a go Terry three times. Mm -hmm. While you only have two stocks to work with. And at this point, it's looking like he might only have one because oh, right wow. there, that, that was so good from BV. This is, uh, game one was super duper close. Vivi actually had to make the comeback in order to make it work. This time around, it's nothing like Vivi that. Vivi is playing with his food right now, just knowing that he's able to, right now, a, a complete 180 from the first game where he now has a three stock lead or two stock lead. And Steven is, needs, needs to start to, Ooh. oh! And look at it, because he is now at this percentage, he doesn't even to kill, it just does so much damage whenever one of those connects. That's not no, gonna be fine. it. Again, Vivi's great at DIing back to the stage, being sure he doesn't die quite yet. Trying to counter uh, Vivi's, uh, Vivi's recovery, however, it's definitely not gonna happen. Oh, but that's, that's gonna be it, yep. Yeah. Definitely gonna be that up B kill. All right, that's the first stock Steven's managed to take here after being like, oh, well, what is it? It's been two, over two minutes into this game. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Vivi has just been in control since day one, frame one. He's currently at one stock deficit right now, Steven is. And Vivi is now a little more comfortable. He's a pro he's approaching a lot for someone who has a great advantage against Sora, but I think he has to because Sora can just easily outrange Terry and use it to his advantage. Yeah, I am saying I do want to say that Steven is doing a nice job adapting, not really just getting up into random things anymore. He's not getting ledge trapped. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yep, there it is. That's Not the was it, we're all three kills from the side B at the ledge like that? I know what at least two of them were. Let's see. Oh no, one of them was from the jab jab uh, up B. Yeah, that yeah, was okay. one. Was he really at this low percent? Wow. Yeah, two of them were from... He, he must yep. have been DIing backwards, I think. I think mm -hmm. he was trying to like fade back after the thunder. And it didn't work out for him. The momentum got him yeah. a little bit too far. But that upbeat kill uh, was very nice. stylish. Shoot. Something that Steven always does. Very nice kill of his. But yeah, well, Vivi's if, Terry is someone to joke with. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm be curious to see if we see it later on mm -hmm. in bracket. Uh, especially considering the fact that there are pretty high stakes here right now. You know, a lot of good players in attendance. And the especially in that game, too. The, mm -hmm. the Every time I... Terry and Kazi, they're not the same character.